it's Spoonful for you, back at you again with another video, and today we have a brand new Save Splash Mountain. Today I am talking about Clueless Hate. Now what do I mean by Clueless Hate? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you a little story. One of my subscribers about two weeks ago told me that someone thought that there was a plantation manor inside of Splash Mountain. This person hates Splash Mountain, thinks it's racist, and wants it to be rethemed. But that proves to you that they have never, ever ridden this ride in their lifetime. They thought there was a 1800s plantation home in this attraction. Wow. That is clueless hate, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we get more into the topic, I just would like to say that not everyone is clueless. Some people have some very, very interesting things to say. I can really stand by some of people's opinions, but there's a lot of people out there that just jump on the bandwagon, and I think I know the reason why. Son of the South has not been released for Disney+. Plus. Not only that, but it really hasn't been released to anyone outside of the vault. This really starts getting people's minds turned around about the movie. Because they don't watch it, they just hear word of mouth. If one of their friends tells them, Son of the South is racist, they will believe it. You know, I was kind of gullible just like that when I was a teenager or a kid, you know? The same with history books. If you remove history about the Nazis, if you remove the swastika, who would truly know the meaning behind it? People would just call the swastika racist, but no, it has a very historic meaning that I think everyone should be educated on. It was a very, very disgusting uh, flag, basically, that the Nazis used. It showed how evil they could truly be, and I'm not talking about the Germans. I love Germany. I'm talking about the Nazis, the Nazi party. I think people should not live in a little fantasy. They should know what happened. They should not forgive the Nazis. They should forgive Germany. There are still Nazis out there in the form of many, many different people. And I think that is why we should still know what a Nazi is. You should not hide your kids from the truth, from the past. The future can be bright. The future is whatever you make it, but the past is already in the past. You can't change it. No matter how much tinkering you do, you cannot change anything in your past. Once you make a mistake, it's up to your future to change the results. And I think Splash Mountain is getting so much hate right now from the Black Lives Matter because they have been hearing from word of mouth from Disney. All throughout the years, they've used the word controversial. Controversial film based off of a film based in the 1800s and they always say it's about slavery. So what does the Black Lives Matter think? It's about slavery. When that is far from the case, that is far from the truth, ladies and gentlemen. The movie is so much more than that, but you can watch my other videos. I don't want to dive into it right now. But guys, there's just so much hate that is uncalled for and unnecessary. Experience the ride yourself. Watch Son of the South yourself. Then you can make an opinion. Like I said before, not everyone I'm talking about here, do, uh, they're not all crazy people, but a lot of them are, like the SJWs. A lot of these pink-haired women going on these uh, rants about Splash Mountain, a Disney ride that has been in the park since 1992 at Magic Kingdom and 1989 at Disneyland. They're ranting about something they've never experienced in their entire life. They just hate hate, hate, hate these things. They think they're racist. They basically want their world, their views, and nobody else's views. It's truly ridiculous. And uh, save Splash Mountain, guys. This is an iconic attraction. And I, I just hope that people can become educated because people are making false claims that this attraction has manners inside of the ride, a plantation home. That is a load of rubbish, ladies and gentlemen. That is, that's insane. I just had to make a video about this because, wow, that is the nuttiest thing I've ever heard so far. I mean, I've heard some really insane things that people have made up about attractions before. This takes the cake. 
So I think people should become educated on this ride. And not only this ride, but the film that it's, you know, coming from, Song of the South. I think it should be released to the public on Disney Plus with a lot of warning, you know, for those sensitive people. But the film should be viewed, and I think the people should see it. They should view it. The SJWs are crying right now because they believe that, you know, their world is the way or the highway, you know? I think people should really just get a feel for the ride, get a, you know, understanding. Because I've seen black people come off of this ride so many times. I see so many adver advertisements of black people going on Splash Mountain. And you know what? They all have smiles on their face. They're sharing memories with their family. None of them are pointing at it, calling it racist, you know? It makes me a little sick that they're putting this in black people's heads. It's kind of sad because black people should understand that Splash Mountain was a ride dedicated to their folklore, to their pasts. And that's what Disney does best, you know? I love going into the past. I never said I was a racist. I love black people. I love all races of people. And I said I was never against Princess and the Frog. You can check out my other videos. I clearly say that I want a new Princess and the Frog ride, not some Splash Mountain retheme where it's just poorly put together. It's even worse for the black community than, you know, what they're claiming. It's just, it's bull crap. It's a bunch of horse crap, ladies and gentlemen. And we should all just be educated on the ride first. We should be educated on uh, the movie, the film. And if you guys still think it's racist after that, then fine, form your own opinion. I could care less, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone is entitled to their opinion and I will stand by your opinion. I will not attack your opinion. I just want to say that if you make a false claim about something, that is very upsetting and very disgusting in my personal opinion. But there are some cruel people out there. There's even crazy Splash Mountain fans out there that will destroy you over opinions. And I've met a few. Um, and if you people have opinions, you know, you um, anyone, you know, white people that come here, Hispanic people, even especially black people, if you guys come here and you have an opinion, if you tell me why you think this ride is racist, just list it out. I will respect your opinion. And if one of my loyal fans or if one of the Splash Mountain lovers comes and bashes your opinion, I will stand up for what you believe in. I swear to you, I am on your side, but I have my opinion of my own and we both need to respect our opinions. We cannot fight, we cannot shoot one another, we cannot, you know, hurt one another with verbal abuse. We have to come together and respect each opinion. And I, in my opinion, believe that Splash Mountain is a perfectly fine attraction for all ages, for all races, for all sexes, for all genders, for everyone. And I think Splash Mountain should remain the way it is. I just think people should be educated on the source material before they make false claims of a 1800s plantation manor sitting in this ride full of cute, cuddly creatures. It's ridiculous. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like, share this video all over Facebook, hit the bell icon, please. Educate your friends. If they have no idea what Splash Mountain is, and if they're just calling it flat out racist, please educate them. Take them on the ride. Take them on a trip to Disney. Find a copy of Song of the South online because it's floating around everywhere. I think the movie is okay. It's pretty hit or miss. The animated scenes are great. Live action scenes are okay. Disney has done way better, you know, live action movies in my personal opinion. However, the acting is very strong and there is nothing, in my opinion, racist about the movie. Now, even though I don't find it racist, that doesn't mean I can call it a masterpiece of a film. I think Splash Mountain is way better than the source material it was based off on. However, I still think Son of the South is uh, really awesome with its cartoon segments, and I think the acting is amazing, especially from Uncle Remus. So I would highly recommend going to check out Son of the South online if you can find it. Download it legally. Do not pirate the movie or download it illegally or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Again, share this video. Share, share, share. Hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching, guys. 
and don't forget to leave a like on the video.